from the team you can trust. This is News 8 at 6. Good evening. Latoya Palmo, the woman charged after hitting two children with her car in Gates, is due in court tomorrow. Police say she was taking photos with her phone before she swerved on Lyle Ave and struck two children being pulled in a wagon. Those two children were pinned under Palmo's car and badly hurt. Kayla Green joins us now live from where this happened with an update on proposed changes to the sidewalk there. Kayla. Yeah, Adam, this is right near where the accident happened last weekend. And even before that happened, the State Transportation Department had proposed plans to Gates to put in new sidewalks down this road, starting here and going a little bit down there. So as you can see, there's no real sidewalks here. There's just like this stretch of pavement right here. So the Gates Town Supervisor, Cosmo Ginta, says the new plans will extend sidewalks from where the expressway ends all the way to Howard Road, 12 feet on each side. He says it's hard to say if having sidewalks in this location could have changed the outcome of what happened last weekend since the driver was distracted. But Gene Tuss says any new sidewalks are good and he's hoping nothing like this happens again. The new plans will be good for more reasons than safety. I think it will help beautify the town as well. Um, I know a lot of residents are looking for more sidewalks to be able to, you know, attend um, some of the, some of the, uh, stores there, the Commerce, Wegmans across the street as well, um, you know, the plazas in there. Um, I, th I think it's just a win-win for everybody. He says the new sidewalks are set to be put in next year and they hope to be finished by 2021, hopefully even sooner than that. And um, based on what happened last weekend, I'm sure any new sidewalks would be a good idea to make this area a little bit safer. Adam? All right, yeah, greatly appreciated for sure. Kayla, thank you. Palmo is charged with two counts of second degree assault and two counts of reckless endangerment. Police say there could be more charges filed since the car did not have an up-to-date inspection and had failing brakes.